Hi there, this is Miss Novikoski from My Home to Yours, and today we're going to learn how to play a math game that's called Pyramid. Um, it's focused on making tens, and I'm not sure where I originally learned this, but I've played it for a long time. Um, it's a solitaire game, which means you can play it by yourself, but you can also have lots of people playing it together at the same time and comparing. All you need for this is a deck of cards. You need a regular deck. You take out all the face cards, so the jacks, queens, and kings, and put those aside. And then you need a full deck of ace through 10, and the ace is the one. And you lay them out in a special way, and I'm gonna show you how to play. Okay, to start playing, you shuffle your deck, and you turn it face down, and then you start off by turning over one card at the top, and then layering over two cards in the second row, three cards in the third row. What pattern are you noticing? How many cards will be in the fourth row? Four cards there. And then a fifth row. And this is why it's called pyramid, because we're building the shape of a pyramid. And the final row is the sixth row. So there'll be six cards here across the bottom. And that's how you lay out the game for pyramid. So to play pyramid, you take the rest of the deck that you didn't use in making your pyramid and just put that face down. And you start in the bottom row and you look for ways to make 10, either using just the 10 or using two cards. So only two cards at a time. So I can make a 10 here. So I can take this 10 off and I just put that on a pile. I'm seeing another way to make 10 and that's with the six and the four. So I can take that pair and I put them on my discard pile. Now you can only use the cards that are not covered by any other cards. So now I have three, nine, three, seven, and three available, and I need to decide which cards am I going to use. So I'm looking kind of carefully. So if I use this three, what's gonna happen? If I use this three, I know I'm gonna use the seven, because I can make a 10 with seven and this three, or this three and this three. So, hmm, I think I am going to use this seven and this three to make my 10, and I discard those. And now I look at this, and the only cards I can now make a 10 with are three, nine, seven, and three. And so here's another seven and three. I'm gonna turn those over, those make a 10. Now what I have available are nine, two, nine, and three. Those are the only ones that are completely uncovered. Can you think of a way to make a 10 with those? I can't. So this is where now you go to your pile, your extra pile. And I turn over one card. And can I make a 10 with this card and one of the ones that is turned over? So nine, two, nine, or three. And yes, seven and three make 10. So I turn those over. So now what do I have? I have nine, two, and nine. Still can't make 10, so I turn over another card. Nope, can't make 10 with a four. Oh, but I can with an ace. I can add my one to the nine to make 10. So I turn those over, and now this has freed up these two cards here, and five and five make 10. It's one of my doubles, so I can turn those over. And here, now I have the 10 free, that can go. Oh, this is looking good. I'm making lots of tens. Eight and two make 10. And by using those up, now I've got this ace free and I can make the nine and one make a 10. And eight and two make 10. Six and four make 10. It doesn't always work out like this. Um, sometimes you, you're left with lots of cards. But now what do I need to finally use this one? I need to turn over a nine. So I keep turning these over, oh, and I did it. So nine and one makes 10, and I'm finished. And so I get a score of zero because I used all the cards. I just wanna share another example of what might happen in this game. Um, so this is where I am right now. I've made all my tens and they're over here. This is my discard, my extra card pile. And this is what I have left right now. So I need to either turn over a three to make a 10 with a seven or a nine. 
So I'm going to turn over. 10. That doesn't help me. 4. Oh, 1. Oh, and there's a 9. So I can make a 10. So now I still don't have any other cards free besides the 7. And so I haven't found a 3 yet. I keep turning and hoping that I find a 3. Oh no. So I've gone through this whole pile and there's no threes because there's one here and the other threes must all be in my tens pile. So now I'm stuck. And so this is where my game ends and my score is adding up all of these. So seven and three is 10, nine and six is 15. So that is 25 plus seven more. I'm gonna decompose that into five and two. So that's 30 and 32. And then plus four more is 36. So my score was 36. So when you play this as a solitaire game, um, you want to try and improve your score and try and get to zero, which was a bit of a fluke that I got that that very first time.